What up, you guys? It's Genius Reacts here, and welcome back to my channel. However, if it's your first time here, then it's just welcome. Today, we're going to be getting into Season 2, Episode 2, Bad Boys, Texas. However, before we get into the episode, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. What are you bell. waiting for, huh? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? In this episode, after the handicap match between Jonathan, Chef D, and Anthony, Big Lou and Relly are now going at it because Big Lou thought he'll be able to swing on Rel and get away with it. However, Relly caught the punch and immediately started uppercutting him for days. Security breaks up the fight eventually. Big Lou was still screaming after he got dog walked by Relly. Orlando's asking for popcorn. <laughs> after they're done going back and forth, Relly and Lou dap each other up and just squash it right then and there. Chef D says that he had a fair one with Anthony. He didn't jump in and he swears up and down that he didn't even see Jonathan attack him, which I think is cat. Chef D also said, since he is a chef, he just wanted to give Anthony an appetizer. I don't know if he practiced that in the mirror, but it was very lame. Both groups are headed to the house. We got Mo City, Chef D, Lou, Jonathan, and Rasby in one truck. Then we got Orlando, Carrion, Banga, Rel, and Prince in another truck. They're both talking about the Anthony situation. Banga immediately lets it be known that he doesn't like Chef D. Jonathan's in the other van saying that Anthony's fake and Anthony knew he was going to be coming at him like that so he doesn't know why he's faking like he's surprised. Prince also mentions in the confessional how he's a little scared of Jonathan basically because Jonathan is strong and it looks like Jonathan hits hurt. I don't feel like as a grown man you should be admitting that you're scared of another grown man. I know that Jonathan does seem a bit strong and his hits do look heavy. I mean, he literally punched Rio from east all the way to west last season. But admitting that you're afraid of him I just make you look weak. And at the end of the day, there's no reason to fear that man. We're all human. We all bleed. So there's no reason for you to be fearing that man at all. Everyone arrives to the house. While they go in the house, Rel is going over some house rules. While he's going over some house rules, Jonathan is going upstairs and picking his room. So he said, if you guys want to fight, just fight outside because this mansion is really nice. So while they're all going to their different rooms, trying to find their different rooms, Chef D and Banga goes to the room that Rel pick. And Banga confronts Chef D about him attacking Anthony. Chef D is making up all types of excuses saying he didn't even see Jonathan attack him. He just went for it. And it's just given that you're lying and you're literally just trying to save face because you know you're going to look bad on camera. Relly told them both to leave his room because he got to call up his man. So while they're leaving his room, Banga picks a room that's right next to Rel's. And Chef D goes in there and they argue a little bit over the room. He said, we're going to share this room and this is going to be my room. And Banga's like, yo, like, you're not sharing a room with me. We're not going to fight over this. So Chef D obviously don't want no problems with Banga. So he's just like, I'm not going to fight a grown man over no room. I'm just going to pick another room. So he goes downstairs and picks this room that has two twin beds. And then Rasby and Orlando just help him push both of the beds together so it can just be a king bed. We're then taking a prince's room. And this is where Orlando and Rasby and also Kirion come into the prince's room saying there's a nice place. He has a nice couch on the side. He has like a little baby bar where it's like a bunch of drinks that he can make. And then he has his giant bed. And then Prince gives Orlando his props. He said, you know, you're acting like real sane. This isn't like the Orlando brand I've been seeing all over the blogs and all on social media and on TMZ. He said, you seem like really sane. You seem real cool and chill and back. And then Orlando was just like, well, thank you for that. Thank you for giving me my props. Like, I'm not crazy at all. Like, I got a whole baby mother and a child out here. Like, they don't think I'm crazy. So in the next scene, we then see Lou coming into Jonathan's room. And after that, Rose coming into Jonathan's room. They're all playing around, jumping around, wrestling, acting like they're about to fight, you know, just going back and forth, doing what friends do, I guess. And then Rel is just being around the bush, but he just finally gets to the point and said, I just want to make sure when Anthony does get here, because Anthony still hasn't arrived to the house. When Anthony does get here, will you guys be able to squash y'all issues? And there isn't going to be no more fighting. Y'all going to hurt each other, are y'all? John just said, it's fine. I'm not going to hurt that man. I just had to hit him one good time because I felt like he tried to play in my face. While they're having this conversation, outside we see Mo City... Prince, Orlando, and Rasby all playing basketball. Talked about how Anthony didn't show up to the house yet. They all then catch up in the kitchen. Talking about Anthony again. Banga's defending Anthony, which I don't mind. But I do feel like this. Banga, you don't know him. You can definitely have your opinion and feel like how they did him was wrong. But I definitely don't recommend 
going up for Anthony and just trying to be there for Anthony and protect Anthony. Anthony doesn't need you. One, he has his entourage that he's constantly bringing around him. And he already got Rel and Carry On. So he really doesn't need you. You barely know this man. And it seems like Anthony isn't going to stay in the house for long. So don't be in a situation where you're defending this man. He leaves the house and now you're just the only target left. John said, you don't know him, which he is correct. Rel then later on calls Anthony, asking if he comes to the house. Anthony said he's definitely going to be coming to the house. He doesn't want to go out looking like no punk. And he will definitely be showing up to the house. Rel then calls a little meeting outside. Everybody's outside, chilling and vibing. Orlando wasn't outside, though. He still wasn't feeling his best. But everybody was outside, chilling and vibing. And, and Rel said he just wants to throw a toast. So they're going to have a little toast later on that night. However, they all just start laughing and start rapping. Big Blue starts, you know, dropping a beat. Rel starts rapping. Then JB, then Raz. Prince said he ain't going to rap. And they were like, go ahead, Bengal, go ahead, Bengal. And Bengal was just like, oh, I don't rap. He said, um, I dance. Y'all, Bengal started dancing. And when he started dancing, I was screaming because it didn't even look like he was dancing. It looked like he was shouting at a church service. But I was hollering. Like, I immediately started thinking of church music when he started dancing. I'm like, he isn't dancing. He just basically shouting. So he's like dancing. Everybody's laughing, having a good time. And then... JB and Rasby mentioned in their confessionals, I hope we can keep this good energy for the rest of the night. However, the good energy won't last for the rest of the night because we then see Anthony pulling up, coming out of the car and walking in. He's meeting up and sitting down with Rel and Carry On. And they're just saying like, what is the situation with you and Jonathan? Like, how did it become this crazy? Because we were all close friends is what Rel is saying to him. He said, well, he got mad that... Rio, y'all know the situation with Rio and Jonathan, how they got into that fight. Milan invited him over to the house last season on Bad Boys, and he was supposed to beat up Jonathan, but that didn't happen. Jonathan ended up beating up Rio. They had a sec round. He beat up Rio again. What y'all don't know is that Rio called me and said, hey, I have my birthday coming up. Can I go to your club, and can you have a little section out for me? Anthony said, yeah, why not? Like, I'm getting money. I know it was a bit weird, but I'm like, I'm getting money. It's $300. He's just trying to go to my section. So he went to the section. Word got back around to Jonathan that he invited Rio to his club, and Jonathan didn't like that. But I feel like that situation is a bit too petty. I feel like there's something definitely deeper going on between Jonathan and Anthony, and they just aren't revealing it to us yet. And then Ralph said, well, what about you and Chef D? He said, well, Chef D, he said, I don't really care to talk anything out with him because he's just a P-U-S-S-Y to me. I don't even care about Chef D, so we're just going to leave that alone. He was like, okay, so well, let's go ahead and you know get ready for this to toast, and maybe you can speak to Jonathan. So in this next scene, everyone comes around the pool table. Everybody got their shot glasses and their drinks and they clinking and they just, you know, tapping each other's glasses. And then Jonathan comes up with this look on his face. He just has his sunglasses on, his arms across. He's saying he's good, but his energy is just giving like, if he says the wrong thing, I'm going to punch him right in his mouth. Anthony starts to explain himself. He said, I don't know how our friendship just went downhill like that. He said, I definitely didn't expect you to attack me the way that you did, considering we've been like close friends, especially over something so petty and so little. Jonathan said, you know why I attacked you? Quit acting dumb. Why would you even like throw our friendship away over $300? Like $300. And that's it. Pretty much that conversation went nowhere because John was like, I don't care. We'll never be cool. And Anthony's just like, okay, whatever. Chef D says this in the confessional. He said, I feel like it's really pitiful and pathetic how... Anthony is writing Jonathan's D. And I just thought that was so funny because the entire first episode, Big Lou and Chef D was writing Jonathan like it was nobody's business. So I just find it hilarious how you're saying that Anthony's writing Jonathan's D when it seems like Anthony really is just trying to get an understanding as to why Jonathan attacked him over a $300 VIP section for somebody who was their birthday. But Anthony immediately looks at Chef D and was like, and Chef, you're just a big P-U-S-S-Y. He said, you had to wait for Jonathan to swing on me for you to get your issue off of me. And he said, well, I don't mind swinging on you now. I don't have no issue with that. He said, you know what you did. You know you were talking junk on social media. He said, talking junk on social media. He said, what are you talking about? He said, you were talking about me first. And Anthony also mentioned earlier in the episode that he was dogging and dragging Natalie. So he just automatically peeped that Chef D was fake. 
So Chef D is walking around the pool table and Anthony was like, back up. And while they're going back and forth, Chef D was like, you know what my issue is? I'm not going to keep talking with you. So Chef D swung. Anthony, I guess, blocked it. I don't know. Neither of them can fight, if you ask me. They were literally just flapping. Like, their punches looked so flimsy. I'm like, there's no way there's any pressure behind those punches. So they're both swinging. And the entire time they were fighting, because Anthony was swinging back. It didn't look like he got, you know, too much damage. But it seems like in the next episode, Chef D had a ring on his finger. And he got Anthony in the face real good. But the entire time, I was just thinking, I said, Anthony, if you don't snatch that toupee off the top of his head, you say you want to get your lick back, you want to embarrass him, this will embarrass him. Snatch that toupee off the top of his head and call it a night. But yeah, you guys, that was the end of the episode. They weren't really doing anything serious here. They were swinging, but I wouldn't say anyone got the best of anyone, really. I'll say Chef D probably got the best of him, mainly due to height and also because he had a ring on his finger. But other than that, they didn't do anything. Next week, it's an aftermath of the fight between Anthony and Chef D. Also, Anthony's friends show up outside and try to fight Chef D and most likely probably end up fighting Jonathan. Lou and Banga ends up fighting. And you guys, the way Lou punched Banga and you literally heard the punch. And it was the fact that Banga literally stumbled for a little bit and was obviously out of it for a second. Big Lou and Chef D sits down and talks about how deep Chef D and Anthony's friendship goes. Banga is snapping on Rasby, saying that he was talking slick out his mouth. And also they go to a club. And you guys, I'm here for this Bad Boys Texas show. Like, it's absolutely hilarious. I love Orlando. Keep the comedy going. Yeah, man, thank you for watching Genius Reacts. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Also, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also hit that notification bell so you can keep up while I'm doing the channel. Catch you in the next one. Bye.